Hello and welcome to Darius Comic School and today the topic is the comic industry is dead but comics is not. Um, I watched this morning a video from your boy Zach, Comics Matter and maybe he's right and I have to tell you something like when I grew up comics I was drawn to comics it was not something you get into um, like most people think you get into stuff I don't know if you get into stuff I think you're drawn to stuff let's take a look from this like if you see this this attracted me I noticed this and the things you notice is the things you should follow follow the white rabbit these are the things that attracted me and so I followed that and these are the things that attracted me and as you can see we have here also an Eckhart Tolle and a Seven Habits of Highly Effective People and down below we have some War Machine, Hordes, um, How to Draw Like a Boss, Akira, How to Do Comics and here a book about art in general and here you see miniatures and babes and other stuff so what I am telling you this because when I was small or when I was little uh, in the mid 90s or when I was uh, reading Berserk comics in early 2000s and I was uh, we will get into Berserk but what I wanted to say is comics is not going away and comics is not going digital this is a beautiful tool and this is also a beautiful tool but you see we're living in the we're st still or or right now living in the physical world and I have to say um, I'm rambling this is a rambling video but bear with me um, when you sit down and you read a comic with yourself and you're looking at artwork and things that are made by hand doesn't mean you can use a computer, doesn't mean you cannot use a graphic tablet, but these are still um, the tools of the craft in my eyes. And I have a video on that, it's called um, Why Inking is Manly or Real Man and Draw on Paper. Um, I have a drummer friend, I play also the guitar, and when he drums real drums and not some artificial stuff, it just sounds different and the last 20 years we have seen um, a general rise and decline we have seen a rise in technical stuff the smartphone I'm recording this on I didn't pay too much for it it's uh, a Redmi Note 8 I'm I love it it's good it's great I can do my uh, videos with it it has some decent quality, it has a big screen, stuff like that got really affordable. And also Amazon and connecting uh, through the world with people and learning stuff. So digital stuff has been really good to us in the last past 20 years. But with that came also a decline. Um, because like you can s s make stuff and put it on the internet and do things like everybody wants to do, everybody wants to be the next rock star, everybody wants to be the next uh, big comic thing, but things take time. And we have to understand that we are real human beings um, and that we are socially connected. We need fathers, we need mothers, we need uncles, we need a community and we need a society. We cannot be hooked on a black mirror and get love from this money from this um, you know what I mean we are here in the physical world and we should experience it doesn't mean we don't appreciate the things we are I really do appreciate everything I have everything has its consciousness um, but the last 20 years we had also a rise in junk values um, as you can see like I have here I hope so uh, still a game called Dawn of War and games were really really hard 20 years ago and lately I checked out Check the Lines 2 and now everything seems to be easy 
easy to digest, simple, all the movies are flawed. We have just uh, remakes of remakes of remakes of remakes of remakes. We have Netflix TV shows. I don't want to say that cinema cinema was a happening. It was a social gathering. You had to get there. It was special. You, you, you went there with friends. Sometimes you went there alone, which was kind of sad, but I wanted to see the movie. So there you already have it. My, my wound of being um, a lonely child but but yeah you know what i mean and then um moving moving your body through this world and creating comics and telling something and creating beauty and something of value takes time so junk values take over took over um we we want to order everything and we want it tomorrow and if it doesn't happen we we give up or we are in despair um and i think we should um gather again real values and, and, and also understand how things get learned. This is what this channel is about. It's not about me marketing to you, which it also is, but bear with me. Uh, it, is, it, is, it, is, it is more than that. It is um, looking at things and, and understanding how they are done and how you can do the same. And um, Will Eisner, I guess, went to war um, and Jean Giraud had also a bit of life experience and Hugo Pratt um, I guess also had some life experiences and um, there are great books on making comics and um, we have to talk about the market for a moment it's not like if I if I say um, comics should be this and that if I if I say my comic is the best and if uh, the market or you say no to it, then it's not. Like, it's not a should or shouldn't. Um, the market decides, you decide what is value for you, where you put your hard-earned money. But at the same time, for me, picking up a book, sitting on the side and reading it and enjoying it and just feeling my my humanness. I, d I don't say that you cannot enjoy a comic um, or a story on a screen. You totally can. But um, I don't know. There's some magic about having a movie uh, or a book on your shelf to be able to grab it, to feel it with your own hands and um, to just enjoy it without 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 some humming, buzzing or, or uh, something that has to be plugged in. Maybe a weak argument, but yeah, I don't know. Um, also maybe comic book stores yeah okay they're out of business a lot of stuff is out of business uh, society changes I don't want to fight change it's not what I'm here for um, but I think uh, valuable things should not be lost in time and that is why we will take a look this week at Will Eisner's comic comics and sequential arts where we'll take a look at his uh, stories and also like sometimes uh, comics are for entertainment, sometimes they are here to teach you things and the best of the comics are here to give you some real good entertaining time and also to teach you something about life and about values. We'll see us to the next video. See ya.